How's it going everybody? Today we're going over the phenomenon that spike grenades are no longer the meta option in terms of at least your second column perk. Now, it is the second place option is what I will say. And it being the option that you would choose completely results in the options that you have in your first column, which would be hard launch. Why this would be the deal is because hard launch is actually the only first column perk that decreases your blast radius, which is the main reason why spike nades are not the best option for you. So if you haven't heard yet, because I am new to this news as well, is that velocity actually does not impact your damage at all anymore. It is completely the speed of your projectiles and only that. Where before we wanted like less blast radius, high velocity for the min max damage effect. Now, all we need is less blast radius. Velocity does not matter, it is just a quality of life stat at the standing. And this would also be the reason why implosion rounds would be the better option. Because with hard launch decreasing your blast radius by 5, implosion will decrease it by another 10, therefore a net loss of 15 blast radius. So we're going to be getting into some damage testing. I do it on two bosses, technically three. One is Carl from the Nessus Lost Sector, and the other is the Ogre in Grasp of Avarice. As a complete disclaimer for Carl in the Nessus Lost Sector, he might actually be considered a boss now, therefore boss spec would work on him. But for this testing, I did go with major spec, and I guess I got the same numbers from a friend that didn't have any sort of spec on at all. So that's just kind of weird news right there. But nonetheless, let's get into the testing. So in the Carl Lost Sector, while having hard launch solely on and major spec on, Spike Nades did 61,980 damage total. Swapping Spike Nades over to Implosion, switch this to 62,003 damage. A whole 23 difference in damage, but I think you can see where we're coming from here. Switching on over to the Ogre to just further prove this theory is that with boss spec on and hard launch completely intact throughout the entirety of this testing, Spike Nades did 39,600 171. Switching over to implosion rounds, it was 39,686. So, is it the biggest difference in the world? No, not at all. But it comes down to the point that more damage is more damage. One could make the argument that this would only get worse once you stack surges, have a well of radiance, a debuff applied, recombination does double the damage, and if you have more at your base, the end result will always be more in the end. Hopefully, you follow that logic there. I'm not the best at explaining things. <laughs> so, why is is coming up because I hear around that everyone on their god roll wants spike nades and that's a perfectly fine thing to want on your grenade launcher if it's your god roll it is your god roll but people still have the idea that this is a 50% increase to your impact damage. It's not. I understand that there was a TWA that directly attacked spike nades on heavy grenade launchers, but even if we were to go over to the uh, D2 Foundry to click on spike nades, you can see that even in the description here that on special grenade launchers, it is a 12.12% increase in damage to your impact. Now, of course, with this said, the TWAB mentioned that spike nades would have an overall benefit of at least 5%. And now I wanted to test to see if spike nades wasn't exactly just bugged yet, but I had my friend Toity who had a high velocity round hard launch mountaintop and he went over into the Hydra Lost Sector or the Lost Sector with a Hydra on Europa with boss spec and hard launch equipped and he did a total of 44,765. Comparison when I went in I got a total of 48,394. Now over on this handy dandy little site here we've calculated the number. On the TWAB it did say that the heavy grenade launcher spike was going to be an overall change of 8%. As you can see here, it is as well just an 8%. Thus proving that spike grenades on breach grenade launchers did get an effect. Now, is this the end of the world? Are you gonna actually cry over the fact that, oh, I got spike nades and not implosion? No, we're literally talking micro numbers here. This is not a problem, but this actually helps you out more. See over on D2 Foundry, you have four second column perks. The only ones you can go wrong with are just high velocity, to be honest. High velocity is what I would say is just base damage because stickies, they do do a little bit of increased damage. They have some funky with them. Spikes just straight up say that they increase damage and they do. It's a 12.12% increase on the impact. An implosion just decreases your blast radius which is a direct result in higher damage. Hard launch is officially the 110% 
god roll perk because it decreases your blast radius everything else here doesn't decrease your blast radius yeah quite literally nothing else here decreases blast radius yeah it's hard launch i know a lot of people go for quick launch but nah get that out of here now moving past your second column perk and down to your masterwork having a blast radius masterwork is the worst outcome you can have having a velocity masterwork does not matter at all actually or it is just a quality of life stat and you know without it we are still at a bat 100 velocity it's completely maxed out so in terms of master working i would say it's either handling or reload now i hear a lot of word on the street that impulse amplifier is the new hotness personally i don't care for it but I understand where people are coming from. It has a reload multiplier. This stacks with both handling because handling is a animation multiplier in itself. And reload is just a reload addition. It just adds to the stat of reload. Reload is a weird thing in Destiny because you have this stat and then you have the animation scaler and they mix and intertwine. But saying that this is a multiplier, I can understand why people go with the reload. Personally, I don't care. I'm going all the way with auto loading and recom. Now in gist, do we care too much? Probably not if you don't care it's not the end of the world you're fighting for tens maybe a hundred damage more if you were to go the god god roll up implosion and hard launch but this is just for new knowledge to be learned that spike nades is out the new hotness is implosion with hard launch just decrease that blast radius i understand there's an argument to be said with blinding nades and how it gets you all the way down to zero blast radius I don't think it works that way. I think that's too low a blast radius. This was just a brief check on my end. Uh, I'm sure Aegis will have some new news about this in the coming days. But as of right now, lower blast radius is better than spike nades. All right, I'll leave you with that. Take care. Peace.